Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels today. Today is June the 21st of 2023, and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord this morning. My hope is that you will be blessed as you hear it. The Lord has recently been speaking about revolutionizing society, of taking down the kingdoms of the world and replacing them with his kingdom. Of course, we do not know the timing of these events, what things might have to take place before we see the manifestation of them, but we can trust that the Lord is bringing the restoration that he speaks of in his word. Without getting into further detail, I'll begin reading this word. It is titled, Raising the Standard. Open wide your understanding. See the full picture. I am raising up a standard in your midst, and you shall function according to it, says the Lord. Whole households shall come to know the Lord through the ministry I am raising up in this day, for I am raising up a standard in the home. No longer will strife and disorder rule. I am eradicating sin of every kind, cleansing households, and bringing in a fresh revelation of the order of things. Joy, love, and peace shall be imparted into the home. I will wash over the people pouring out my healing balm upon their lives. Every broken dream shall come into fulfillment, and every disappointment shall flee, for I am healing the broken, says the Lord. I am the repairer of the breach, and I am repairing that which has been in disrepair. Love will flow like a river to bring down walls of resentment, and every dysfunction shall flee as I bring the household into order. You will see miracle after miracle as I bring the nations into the healing flow of the river. The nations shall be swept up by the Father's love poured out upon them. I am releasing it first into the homes of my called and chosen ones, and then out into the streets and into the homes of all who are touched by the love that flows. Broken marriages shall be healed. Every broken and twisted relationship will be put into order. Your children shall acknowledge the Lord in all they do. No longer will there be rebellion in the home. No longer will there be hostility. I am removing it, says the Lord. Children shall love and obey their parents, and parents shall love and bless their children. This is the day when the turnover shall come. Damage inflicted upon the home by the intruder will be reversed. Rips in the tapestry will be mended. I have a divine purpose for the home and family, says the Lord. It will be a haven of rest and refuge. It will be a place where my spirit dwells. Fathers shall be restored to their children and children to their fathers. There shall be harmony and richness in the home. I will bless the home and it shall prosper and be a testimony to the world of the power of God at work in the earth. I am turning the hearts of the people toward home, says the Lord. No more will they wander in a desert land. I am bringing them home, and the family will function in harmony in this place. 
Striving for recognition will end. Selfish ambition will cease. I am destroying the works of the devil over the home. I will take power out of his hands. No longer will the people be tempted by his tactics to breed sin and rebellion. You will see how I remove the power of the tempter. No longer will the people be drawn into sin, but they shall refute it. For I am taking down the kingdoms of the world and replacing them with the kingdom of God. Movies will depict the love and joy of the Lord. The music industry will reiterate the message of hope and the fulfillment of the abundant life in Christ. For I am breaking the power of the evil one in the film and music industry and raising up those who will testify to the love of God through these avenues of entertainment. The arts shall depict the glory of God. I will institute family business. No longer will what belongs to the sons be given to someone else. I will bring order to business. My sons and daughters will not lose the blessing that is rightfully theirs to be passed down from the Father. You will see how I break down a system that has stolen the blessing from its rightful heir. My blessings shall remain in the household and not be given to an illegitimate child." Watch to see how I put this into practice, says the Lord. Your children shall reap the blessing that is rightfully theirs. I will take the goods out of the hands of the idolatrous and put them into the hands of those who will distribute them fairly. Ministries that have brought division in a home will be disqualified. I will not tolerate their abuse. Religious structures that suck the life out of my households will be given their demolition orders. I have neither instituted them nor ordained them. They shall be demolished and their influence shall be abolished, says the Lord. I am raising up households of faith that will honor and uphold my principles. This is the new order I am implementing. It shall be governed by the Lord and not by men. The old structure will be taken down. It has set a standard that is neither godly nor is it conducive to godly behavior. It upholds an external whitewashing, but is unable to produce the fruit of righteousness. Battle in the Spirit. Raise up a banner of righteousness. Prophesy and declare the righteousness of God by faith into the earth, and the people shall be set free, released from the stranglehold of religion. As we can see in this word today, the Lord is once again addressing different aspects of society, the different areas of influence in society, and he is telling us that he is raising up a standard in these areas of influence. The focus in this word today is on the household, on families, on relationships between children and parents, and a turning of hearts toward the Lord in submission to the Lord's standard for the household. As I received this word, I wondered when will these things take place? The enemy has bombarded the household. He has bred rebellion into the hearts of the children. And we have been seeing the manifestation of these things in the world around us, 
in the film and music industry and in the areas of arts and entertainment in general. But the Lord is telling us in this word today that he is addressing these things, that he is coming with his divine power to disrupt the works of the enemy in these areas of influence. He tells us, too, to pray, to battle in the Spirit, to raise up his banner of righteousness, prophesying and declaring his righteous standard. In this word today, the Lord is sharing his heart and his intentions to raise up his standard of righteousness in the earth. May we all come into agreement with the Lord to see his kingdom coming and the establishment of his standard of righteousness implemented. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon. And may the Lord bless you, encourage you, and cause you to prosper in this day in all you do. We'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to you all in the name of Jesus. Bye for now.